Hello guys welcome to celebrity news and lifestyle where we give you the right update and all of what you will like to know concerning our music stars and movie superstars, so if you are new here or if at all you are just passing by for the first time, please take some minutes of your time to subscribe, like, comment and hit the notification button so that you don't miss in any of my uploads. The one technology that terrifies Elon Musk. In addition, Musk threw more shade at Apple and pledged to send humans to Mars within 10 years. Silicon Valley billionaire Elon Musk has been open about his fears of a Terminator-style robot apocalypse. In fact, he's so concerned about it that last year he unveiled a multi-billion dollar OpenAI platform that will benefit all of humanity, he said at the time. There. Before our robot overlords take over, however, Musk has a more pressing concern, that of a giant tech company and its AI ambitious. At Vox Media's Code Conference this week, The Verge's Walt Mossberg asked the SpaceX and Tesla founder if he was concerned about Google and Facebook's artificial intelligence research efforts. I won't name names, but there's only one Musk said, implying he was worried about Google's effort. Google has made great strides in artificial intelligence, between its Google Home device and DeepMind AI.The company was acquired by Google in 2014. Facebook also unveiled a complex AI system called DeepText that promises to analyze thousands of user posts every second. Musk also explained his OpenAI platform on stage. I don't know many people who like the idea of living under an autocrat, he said, referring to his worries about a dystopian future in which society is overrun by robot rulers, a feeling shared by others in the valley, like Y Combinator's Sam Altman. He quickly added that some artificial intelligence could also be used effectively. Just trying to increase the chances that the future will be good, he said. If the power of AI is so widely distributed that we can align the power of AI to the will of each individual you will have your AI agent, everyone will have their AI agent then, if someone is trying to do something truly terrible, then the collective will of others can defeat this evil person. Musk seems to only worry about Google when it comes to artificial intelligence. Google has done a great job of showing off the potential of autonomous transportation, but it's not a car company Musk said so they can license it to other companies. I wouldn't say they are competitors. When it comes to self-driving cars, he sees Apple as the bigger threat, warning that the hardware giant may have waited too long to get into the autonomous vehicle game. I can say it's great that they're doing this, and I hope it's successful he added. Actually, I think they should have gotten involved in this project sooner I don't think they will mass produce it until 2020. If that doesn't sound a bit dismissive of Apple's efforts, consider that in the same discussion, Musk suggested that around that time, one of his companies might send someone to father. Dot if everything goes according to plan, we will be able to launch humans in 2024 and arrive in 2025, the SpaceX CEO said. Speak. That's the game plan. Thanks for watching to the end and guys don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below your comments, matters see you next time.